Problem 3. The result of 2009 to the 2009th power has a digit sum of A. A has a digit sum of B, B has a digit sum of C, and C has a digit sum of B. So what is does D equal? First, we should acknowledge that this has something, it has something to do with nines, actually, or threes, because if you look at the divisibility rules video um, that we just made, actually, um, we, you should know that nine and three, you just have to, for the, all their multiples, right? Like 54 is a multiple of nine. Five plus four, which is digit sum, is equal to nine. Like for all multiples of nine, their digit sum is a multiple of nine. For all multiples of three, digit, their digit sum are a multiple of three. So that was uh, what we talked about in the divisibility rules video. And we're gonna take that knowledge to this remainder's lesson. So first, 2009 to the 2009th power. That has to be less than uh, 10,000, right? To the 2009th power, which is about like, which has about like 8,037 um, places. So that's a lot of place, places, right? Now, uh, we need to know that A is less than this times 9, which is equal to 72 followed by three threes. So A is less than this number. So B must be less than 42, and C must be less than about 12, meaning that D has to be less than 9. So if D is less than 9, and, and we know that 2009 to the 2009th power is um, D mod 9, so they're both divisible by 9. So, and we also, in two, 2009 um, to the 2009th power, would have the same set of remainders as right two to the two thousand two to the two thousand nine power, and that list of remainders is two, four, eight, seven, five, one, and by one we know that's the end of the rotation, um, and this is what it gets after it's being divided by five, um, yeah, so now we take two thousand nine, and we divide that by six. 2009 divided by 6 because there's six uh, sets. There's, set, there's six numbers in this rotation. And let's see, what do we get? Um, we get 300 with a remainder of 5. So 334 with a remainder of 5. Now let's take that five and we look at the fifth term of the rotation. That's one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth term of the rotation is five. Okay. So if we know that that is five, then D must have a rotation, must have a remainder of five um, after being divided by nine. So and we also know that D has to be less than nine. So the only number D can be is five. So D is equal to five.